loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol. Loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol. Alright, alright, that's enough. David, what are you doing? Don't you remember? You told me to wake you up when it was time to start the Journey Today show. Yeah, but I've been awake for five minutes now, and I, I imagine something a little gentler, like, Casey, it's time to wake up. But but this banging on a pot and shouting loud gong noisy symbol, that's just obnoxious. Seriously, tell me about it. I am telling you about it. Why on earth would you do that? Well, First of all, you told me to wake you up, but you didn't say how, so it's kind of your fault. But secondly, I did it because it's the perfect introduction to today's lesson. What? What are we talking about today? Thou shalt not murder? No. Oh, wait, should we be? Uh, uh, never mind. No. Today's lesson is about love. Love? That's how you introduce a lesson about love? I know, I know, it, it seems strange, but maybe it'll make more sense when we read today's Bible story. In fact, why don't we do that right now? How about this? In just a second, press pause on the video, then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. Welcome back, everybody. Isn't that chapter so cool? In fact, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is one of the most famous chapters in all the Bible. A lot of people call it the love chapter for pretty obvious reasons. Yeah, if you've ever been to a wedding before, there's a pretty good chance you've heard 1 Corinthians 13. That's right, because it's a wedding and the people getting married are in love. Um, yeah. But I love how this chapter starts. It says, suppose I speak in the language of human beings or of angels. If I don't have love, I am only a- Loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy symbol, loud gong, noisy okay, symbol. Okay, 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 that's still really obnoxious. You are absolutely right. And that's why the Bible describes it that way. What the Bible is telling us is that you could say the most beautiful words in the most beautiful voice, but if you don't have love, then you just sound obnoxious. In fact, that gives me an idea for a totally rockin' challenge. How about this? Let's imagine that we're the most famous singers with the most amazing voices in the world. We're gonna have a singing competition with a little bit of a twist, and we're gonna see who can pull it off better, me or you. Oh, you're on. Can I go first? Absolutely. You rock it, girl. Wow, that was interesting. Thank you. But now it is my turn, so let's see if I can do it better. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> Wow. Just wow. You know what? I think we both sounded pretty terrible. Seriously, that was maybe the worst concert ever. <laughs> it really was. Believe it or not, though, that's what the Bible says we sound like if we don't have love in our heart. You could be the best singer in the world, but if you don't have love in your heart, you sound like a loud gong or a noisy cymbal. Yeah, 
You could have the high score on every video game ever made. But if you don't have love, you're nothing. You could be the best basketball player in the world. But if you don't have love, it's worthless. You could be the most popular kid at your school. But if you don't have love, it doesn't matter. It's true. There's nothing wrong with being good at those things. But God wants us to be good at the greatest thing. Let me show you what the Bible says that is. The most important things to have are faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of them is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. You see, God wants us to have faith in his son, Jesus. He wants us to have hope that we'll one day see him in heaven. But most of all, God wants us to love him and other people with our whole heart. Love, that's the greatest thing. It really is. But here's the question. What exactly is love? Because I kind of feel like people use that word all the time in a way that's different from the kind of love the Bible is talking about. Oh, you are totally right. I, I mean, I don't do that, but other people definitely do. What? You don't do that? David, don't you remember what you were saying right before today's episode started? Hmm. Let me remember. I love my JTS mug. I love Transformers. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I love this banana bread. I love Bearhead. I love tape. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I guess I do overuse the word sometimes. That's probably not what the Bible means by love. Wouldn't it be nice, though, if there was a list that showed what love really is and how well you are doing at it? Well, that's kind of what 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 does. It gives us a list of things that love always does and a list of things that love never does. And take a look at what those verses say. Love is always patient, always kind, always full of joy when the truth is told, always protects, always trusts, and always hopes. But look at what love never does. Love never wants other people's stuff, never brags, never is proud, never dishonors others, never looks out for only itself, never gets angry easily, never keeps track of wrongs, never is happy with evil, and never gives up. Love never fails. If you can love like that, then you'll be really good at the greatest thing. You know, that makes me think of a question. Now that you know what love is, in what ways are you really good at showing love? And how could you show love better? Press pause. And discuss. Do you know what's really amazing about that list? It also shows the way that God loves us. He's always patient with us. He's always kind to us. He never keeps track of our wrongs. And even though we sin, he never gives up on us. Yeah, God loves us so much that he gave his son, Jesus, so that anyone who believes in him can have eternal life in heaven. There is no greater love than that. God's love never fails. Amen. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun and learned a lot because I know I did. Me too. We'll see you again next week, everybody. Bye. Bye. Jesus loved me, this I know. Abraham had many sons. 